At the dawn of the 21st century, the United States of America bestrode the world as the sole remaining superpower. Since the collapse of the Soviet Union a decade earlier, American military and economic might dwarfed that of its rivals. American culture, from music to film to the blue jeans they exported around the world, were hungrily consumed. The political scientist Francis Fukuyama declared it to be the triumph of liberal democracy and the end of history. However, the balance of global power is in a state of constant flux. The USA will remain a superpower for as long as can reasonably be foreseen, but other nations are closing the gap. Economists predict that within a few decades, America's economic dominance will be simply eclipsed. Further, other nations are going to attempt to rival the United States in military force. In this video, we're looking at 10 potential superpowers of the 21st century. Number 10. Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia is the 12th largest country in the world, and in terms of natural resources, it's the second richest. The Middle Eastern Kingdom sits on huge reserves of oil and natural gas, worth something in the region of 34 $4 trillion. This wealth of natural resources provides both financial and political capital. As the most influential member of OPEC, the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, the Saudis have considerable influence over the global supply and the price of petroleum. With most countries in the world still heavily dependent on oil, this is no small consideration for friends and foes of the kingdom alike. In recent years, Saudi Arabia has added a substantial military capability to its arsenal, with spending that exceeds all other nations apart from America, China, and Russia. In 2015, Saudi Arabia led a coalition of nine African and Middle Eastern nations to war in Yemen. This demonstrated that the Saudis were prepared to use their growing military strength and that they possessed enough influence to convince several allies to assist them. With the Western powers becoming less influential in the Middle East, there is an opportunity for Saudi Arabia to become the defining power in the region. From there, it could potentially go on to become a global superpower. Number 9. Iran the Middle East might just have room for one superpower, but there isn't room for two. Saudi Arabia's interests will increasingly collide with those of Iran, another regional power with big ambitions. Both Saudi Arabia and Iran are Islamic countries. However, the Saudis are majority Sunni Muslims, and about 90% of Iranians are Shias. The two groups and the two countries tend to not get along very well. Iran spent most of the 1980s locked in conflict with neighboring Iraq. With the 2003 American-led invasion of Iraq, plunging that country into chaos and wiping it out as a regional power, Iran has looked to profit. The Iranian government has funded rebel groups and done its best to ensure Iraq remains fractured and destabilized. A weakened Iraq, it serves Iran well, and the immediate goal seems to be to bring Iraq's vast oil fields under direct or indirect Iranian control. This would vastly increase Iran's power and influence both in the Middle East and across the world. Despite a well-educated population of more than 80 million people, the world's fourth largest oil reserves, an advanced nuclear program, and an increasingly high-tech military, American-led sanctions remain a substantial drag factor on Iran's economy. According to the IMF, they may have wiped out as much as 15 to 20 percent of Iranian GDP since 2011. If and when these sanctions are eventually lifted and the economy is unshackled, Iran might quickly become a major force to be reckoned with. Number 8. Nigeria The West African nation of Nigeria is beset by problems. It's widely regarded as one of the most corrupt nations, with Nigerian princes having become synonymous with internet scammers. An estimated 89 million Nigerians, more than a third third of the entire population live in poverty, and their numbers are increasing. A severe brain drain is underway as doctors and other professionals flee the country for better opportunities elsewhere. Meanwhile, the government has been unable to quell an armed insurgency by the fanatical Islamic fighters of Boko Haram. Despite these seemingly insoluble problems, Nigeria is a land of immense potential, and it is expected to battle through the chaos to become Africa's most powerful and influential nation. The process is already underway. Nigeria overtook South Africa as the continent's largest economy in 2014. While growth in South Africa is expected to remain sluggish, in Nigeria, gross domestic product is predicted to more than double from $411 billion in 2018 to $1 trillion. 
by 2030. Nigeria's growing economic strength will be boosted by its already significant soft power, which is loosely defined as the ability to influence international relations through cultural influence. Nigeria's soft power rests on its major contributions to various peacekeeping operators, its credentials as a democracy, and an output of music and film admired around Africa as well as the wider world. If Nigeria can take steps to address its economic problems of corruption and poverty, then its booming population and economy should see it emerge as Africa's dominant power. Number 7. Canada over the course of the 21st century, climate change is likely going to alter the world forever. At its worst, it could herald the collapse of civilization as we know it. Even under more optimistic predictions, it could reshape global politics and the balance of power. Even a relatively modest temperature increase over the next 100 years could potentially render much of the Middle East uninhabitable, while rising sea levels could wipe out several island nations and leave major coastal cities across the globe simply submerged. However, the suffering will not be equally shared. Already the second largest country in the world by area, the amount of available land in Canada will increase as the glaciers that cover around 125,000 square miles of the country melt away to nothing. In addition to natural resources such as oil, minerals, precious metals, and large quantities of timber, Canada possesses 20% of the world's fresh water. Many experts believe the major wars of the 21st century are likely going to be fought over diminishing reserves of fresh water, so this is going to become an increasingly valuable resource to possess in such abundant supply. Number 6. Japan At the end of 1945, Japan lay in ruins. Defeat in World War II had laid waste to almost every city and town, and around 3 million Japanese people lost their lives. However, the United States of America wanted Japan to serve as a bulwark against communism in the East. With American financial aid flowing in and a society that placed a high value on a ferocious work ethic, Japan was soon back on her feet. By the 1980s, she possessed the world's second biggest economy and was being touted as an emerging superpower. Power. Since then, Japanese growth has stalled, and their old rival China has overtaken them as the world's second greatest economic powerhouse. However, Japan should not be entirely written off as a potential superpower. As the current century progresses, a new major arms race is likely to gather steam. Rather than being between traditional armies, navies, and air forces, it's going to be fought in the final frontier of space. The Japanese are in a strong position to become a leading participant. Japan is investing heavily in its space program. This is now seen not just as purely a scientific endeavor, but as vital to the nation's ongoing security. Given the country's considerable economic clout and exceptionally high levels of technological prowess, there are few other nations that would be able to compete with it. The ability to potentially destroy, disrupt, or capture satellites belonging to rival powers or attack targets on the ground from orbit would be a major strategic advantage. Control of space might prove as important to the potential superpowers of the 21st century as naval strength was to the great powers of the previous centuries. Number 5. Russia The history of Russia provides a striking example of how quickly a superpower can rise and fall. At the outbreak of World War II in 1939, British intelligence believed Poland to be stronger than Russia. Just a few years later, and the Soviet Union, with Russia at its heart, had played a major role in defeating Nazi Germany and occupied most of Eastern Europe. At the beginning of 1990, almost nobody was predicting the imminent demise of the communist superpower, but by 1992, the Soviet Union no longer existed. After a tumultuous two decades, Russian power is growing once again. Russia's military budget, in both real terms and as a percentage of GDP, is among the highest in the world. A significant chunk of Ukraine, once part of the Soviet Union, has again been gobbled up. With the NATO alliance in decline, Baltic states such as Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania fear they might face the same fate. Meanwhile, Russia feels confident enough to order the poisoning of dissidents ostensibly under the protection of such powers as Great Britain, seemingly without any fear of reprisal. Russia is still heavily dependent on oil, and its economy is plagued by corruption. However, it is still one of only five nations with power of veto on the United Nations Security Council, and the Russian bear still has claws in the form of one of the world's largest nuclear arsenals. It's entirely possible that Russia will reclaim its place as a superpower in the 21st century. Number 4. Brazil. Along with Russia, India, and China, Brazil completes the original quartet of the so-called BRIC nations. They were named by Jim O'Neill of Goldman Sachs in 2001, following his investment bank's prediction that they would become four of the world's biggest economies by 2050. Since then, the four nations, joined by South Africa in 2010, have formed a loose political alliance, cooperated on issues such as trade and healthcare, and formed a joint bank fund to develop projects across the world. 
The South American giant is held back by high levels of poverty and income inequality. This is particularly striking since just the six richest people in Brazil boast a combined wealth greater than the poorest hundred million. However, Brazil is blessed with vast natural wealth. The Tupi oil field, discovered off the coast of Rio de Janeiro in 2008, contains an estimated 8 billion barrels. A second offshore discovery was even more substantial, and we'll see Brazil join the ranks of the world's major oil exporters. Brazil is also home to around 30% of the world's remaining rainforests, and with it is a natural wealth of resources such as nickel, copper, bauxite, and timber. Number 3. India by 2025, it's predicted that India will replace China as the world's most populous nation. While China faces a demographic time bomb due to the recently lifted one-child policy, India has the largest and youngest workforce in the world. This boom in population is being matched by an impressive economic growth, and some experts believe the Indian economy will have overtaken that of the United States by 2050. India is flanked by Pakistan to the west and China to the north, and these powers have not traditionally been very friendly. Pakistan and India went to war in 1965, and in 1967, a border dispute brought them into military conflict with the Chinese. However, India now has enough military strength to feel secure despite the proximity of these powerful foes. The military boasts a nuclear arsenal of around 100 warheads and the capability to launch them from land, sea, and air. Two aircraft carriers with a third under construction mean that India is one of the few nations capable of projecting significant military force almost anywhere in the globe. The increasing strength of India's economy, military capabilities, and fledgling space program is backed up by soft power. The nation is home to more billion-dollar startup businesses than everywhere except the United States of America and China, and its Bollywood film industry produces more films and sells more tickets than even Hollywood. Number 2. China Napoleon Bonaparte once described China as a sleeping lion, and he warned that when she woke, the whole world would tremble. For much of the 20th century, China was weak, divided and troubled at war with herself and her neighbors. Now in the 21st century, she's finally awake. In economic terms, China is already a superpower. China's GDP of more than $12 trillion is bettered only by that of the United States of America, and when adjusted for purchasing power, the huge Asian nation comes out on top. Chinese banks are funding vast infrastructure projects in 78 countries around the world. This has been described as China's answer to the Marshall Plan and the biggest infrastructure project in history. This huge investment will allow China access to foreign markets and resources by allies across the world and potentially rival the United States of America as a superpower. While China still does lag some way behind the US in military terms, the gap is nowhere as big as it once was. James Fanel of the Geneva Center for Security Policy predicts that by 2030, China will have more operational warships than the US Navy and will be established as the dominant military power in Asia. Number 1. The European Union The United States of America has a GDP of $19.4 trillion and spends more than $600 billion a year on the most powerful military machine on the planet. No single nation comes even close to matching that, but the collection of nations that make up the European Union do. For this reason, it has been suggested that the European Union should be classed as a superpower. In 2018, the EU's GDP was $18.8 trillion, placing it a very close second to the United States of America. While the EU doesn't field a combined army, at least not yet, several of its member states possess very substantial military capabilities. This includes more than 1.5 million active military personnel, even more than the USA's 1.2 million. The Eurofighter Typhoon, built as a joint project between the UK, France, Germany, Italy, and Spain, is touted as the most technologically advanced combat aircraft anywhere in the world. Jean-Claude Juncker, president of the EU, has recently said that the time has come for the EU to become a global player. However, it remains to be seen whether the political and economic union of so many nations, each of them with differing priorities and interests, is actually a sustainable project. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a like below and don't forget to subscribe if you're wanting more videos like this every day of the week. And if that's not enough for you, I've got another channel. It's called Biographics. We do biographies of notable people from the present day in history. If you didn't guess that from the name of the channel and you can check that out there's a link to it in the description below as well as on the screen now and as always thank you for watching